Rick, how does contactless payment actually work? It's like magic for money. But really, it's just NFC, near-field communication. Your card or phone has a tiny NFC chip and an antenna. When you tap it against a payment terminal, the terminal sends out a radio frequency field that powers up your chip just enough to send a unique encrypted payment signal. So it's just sending my card info through the air? Not exactly. Your card doesn't just broadcast your info like a loudmouth. It uses something called a dynamic cryptogram, basically a one-time code that's generated just for that transaction. Even if someone sniffs the signal, they can't reuse it. It's not your actual card number. It's a token. How does the money actually move? The terminal sends that encrypted code to the merchant's bank, which then pings your card issuer, like Visa or MasterCard. They check the code, make sure it matches your account, and approve the transaction. All of that happens in a blink, faster than your brain processing the fact that you just spent 20 bucks on coffee. What if I tap twice by accident? Relax, Morty. Contactless payments are single use per transaction. The terminal won't double charge you unless it completely processes the first tap and starts a new transaction. The system's designed to ignore duplicate signals in rapid succession. Is it safe from hackers? Safer than swiping, that's for sure. The encrypted token can't be reused or intercepted easily. Plus, phones add an extra layer of security like Face ID or fingerprint authentication before the NFC chip even wakes up. Stealing your payment info through NFC is way harder than you think. So it's just a quick, secure way to pay without swiping or inserting? Exactly. You're just waving a tiny data transmitter at a reader, and the encryption makes sure it's not broadcasting your actual card number. It's like passing a digital handshake. Quick, secure, and no germs. And before you swipe, leave a like and a follow, or I'm going to send you to another dimension.